the apology that he could give, that he gave, should I say, at this moment in time means nothing to me. I want to hear over the next two days, does he actually take ownership of the, the mistakes that um, he as the leader, as well as some of his government advisors have made? I wonder whether he's even going to acknowledge that they were actual mistakes uh, as opposed to inevitable consequences of the urgency of the situation or some such phrase that he'll no doubt come out with. Well, no doubt he will probably will come out of something like that. I mean, one of the questions he was asked this morning, I was a bit flabbergasted when I heard his response because mm. what he said was, was, was so far as I paid attention. <laughs> now, you know, I just think that's scandalous. Yeah. Um, I don't have a job like Mr. Johnson, but my job's a very responsible one. And I certainly pay attention to anything that is brought to me that is going to affect the families that I work with. So I, I just couldn't believe that he actually uttered that sentence. That could have been actually a case of when his brain wasn't in gear, but his mouth opened, which unfortunately I think happens quite regularly with Mr. Johnson. Uh, and, and possibly saying things, as you suggest, out loud that he would, if he was normal, he'd later regret saying, but him being him, he'll, he'll either gloss over it or pretend that he never said it in the first place. Um, I, I, I'm going to phrase this question carefully, uh, uh, Brenda, because I don't want to come across as insensitive, but but I'm not. There's not nothing can bring your mum back, can it? So what are, what are you looking for from the inquiry in general and Johnson in particular? Well, first of all, I'll answer this. What we need from Mr. Johnson is candor, hmm. and it's a bit unfortunate that the Liverpool law wasn't passed because that would have been an opportunity to make sure that candor happened.